yeah welcome to my channel again or welcome if you're new actually um my name is Aliti and I'm gonna go get some new tattoos I know I know is yeah I'm gonna go get some new tattoos things I did to prep for getting tattoos is I worked out I had a really really good workout this am and last night because when you get tattoos you're usually not supposed to put them like water them a lot or sweat a lot stuff like that so i got um two really 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 good workouts in um to prep for that and i'm also um i ate really good i had a really good night's sleep and i'm wearing clothes so that um that aren't like covering the areas I want to get tatted in. I'm gonna get four different ones if they have time. Um, I tried to call to make an appointment, but they're not doing appointments. They're just doing walk-ins. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Um, yeah, I also have some pasta because I'm gonna eat um, right now again. And I just showered. I got ready, um, and I'm on my way to go get a Gatorade because um, just to have sugar in my body because you're supposed to do that. I'm not scared of needles. Like I'm, I do really good with needles. I have one tattoo right there. Um, and yeah, this one didn't really hurt. It kind of just felt like little, little pokes, but it didn't hurt. So yeah, but this time I'm getting some, I'm getting one right here, one on my hip, one on my stomach right here. Let me stop rambling and let's go get this Gatorade. Um, dang, it's hot and yeah we're gonna try to do all this all by four o'clock it's 12 30 right now and i'm actually i i feel like i'm underestimating the the amount of time it's gonna take over i mean overestimating like i don't think it's gonna take that long i got the gatorade and if you don't get cool blue you're weird just kidding all the flavors are really good but just okay, I parked here, and the good thing is that it's actually pretty close to me. Um, but yeah, I'm still eating my pasta, not me dropping some pasta on the seat. I was pretty sure I saw one of the, the tattoo artists walking to a shop. As I was parking right here. Also, love how we got shade. Anyways, yeah, I can. I'm just gonna eat some of my pasta really quick. I'm um, just to at least have something in my system. Um, and then we're gonna go in. I have my ID and stuff, so and my license, obviously, because material girl. Let me finish eating, and then we're gonna go in. I'm gonna ask the guy if we can record. It was at this time. I realized I forgot the custom ones that i did bruh it's literally the most beautiful day out ever i'm literally obsessed this is my fit so i don't know how that looks on your screen but rip but fire i'm like looking nervous but also like i'm so excited because I feel like I'm at a really good place to get tattoos. Usually people get tattoos when they're like mad or angry, but right now I'm healing my divine feminine and being in tune with my divine feminine. So these tattoos that I'm getting are really in tune with that. And I'm so happy about that. Like just, it just feels right. So yeah, anyways. They don't have time right now, but at 3.34, they might have more time. Also, can we talk about how the guy... Try, try, I think we got one. Anyway. So, like I said, they didn't have time right now because everyone is on appointment, so it was like walk-ins. Um, man, oh man, what shall we do? I'm just gonna come back or call actually before I get here um, and ask if they can they have time for the tattoos um, if there's anyone that can do that for me I was gonna go somewhere but I guess not anymore because I want to 
get my tattoos. Um, and yeah. For my first tattoo, I actually ended up going to one that's like across the street and I was gonna go to that one again, but honestly, like vibes are not as it as the vibes over here. So I'd rather go and to the vibes over here and wait a little bit than to just go because I wanna get a tattoo, you know what I mean? I wanna get it with the right people and yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna make my way to Walmart and then I'm gonna go um, pick up some food. It's now 2.25, I actually just saw 2.22, but I'm feeling so good right now. Like, I just know I look sexy and hot. Thank you very much. Anyways, um, I always say thank you very much. Don't know why, but I just finished running some errands and now I'm going to go to Walmart. So let's go to Walmart and just look around. Not me. I literally came for one thing. Not even one thing to actually buy. I just want to come see and look and pass by time. I love this color. And it's cheaper. Did I just spend $46 at Walmart? Yes. Yes, I did. I have the receipt to prove it. I don't usually do this, but when I do, I go all out. Um, I actually got some stuff. Okay, I like I need things, but I hate spending money to get the things that I need. So this is what I got. I got a bathing suit because I don't have a bathing suit that matches like with the top and the bottom. Um, literally, I have like mismatching bathing suits. So I bought a bathing suit and I just thought this would look cute. Like it's just like a cute, it's really like neon, but I think it'll look good. And then I also got some workout shorts that I actually been wanting because I actually need more workout clothes because then I don't want to wear the same thing over and over. So yeah, I just bought myself some shorts and um, I also got a new shampoo because if you don't know, I got a shampoo um this one thing i'll post i'll put a picture up it's literally booty like literally trash like it made my hair so dry so it literally did the opposite of what it was supposed to do it wasn't giving what it's supposed to give so i've used cantoon 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 um before the the white bottle but this time I got this new one, Shea Butter Moisturizing Cream. And I only got the shampoo because I use this leave-in conditioner for my hair. Um, which makes my hair like this, like the bottom. Don't mind the top. The top is always kind of frizzy just because it's the top layer and it kind of like protects, protects the rest of my hair. Um, but anyways, yeah. Um, it's now like three something and I call the tattoo shop and see if they have any available spots and go. You guys, it's night time. Oh my gosh. I don't know if y'all saw in that video, the little second clip that I, oh my, I'm so excited, I'm so happy, and I'm hungry, oh my gosh, my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, yes, 
<laughs> yes okay little backstory little message that i download that i got i know you guys can't see good so let me turn on the flash okay so i hope you guys can see better but oh my one they i think i just have a heart like a high pain tolerance like or i just handle like pain really well um because these are supposed to hurt like the ones that are near your bones and by your ribs like they're supposed to hurt but it like hurt but not as bad the one thing that did hurt the most was this middle one i think like right here um i don't know i don't even know if you guys can see but yeah that one and the nails on the fingers that is what hurt the most also i think this was the hardest one because i was trying like to breathe while he was like doing it um let me catch my breath then i also got the word gentle on my side oh i love that one There's, these have actual stories behind them not like my tattoo my first tattoo my tooth one that one didn't really have like a story behind it i think it did like subconsciously but um when i was getting it i kind of was just getting it to get it it just felt right to get it but i didn't really understand the meaning of it until later on um and i realized that a tooth is the only thing that you can't get rid of after your body dies and um and yeah it's literally like the strongest bone in your body like i think it's strongest bone in your body but yeah um it's like the one thing that it's like strength it signifies strength and you know like i don't know just that overall energy of like strength like like and it literally resonates so much because after going through so much trauma and so much like bullshit throughout life i'm still here and i'm still standing in my strength and in my power because as i motherfucking should period um anyways yeah that's the story for that and now i guess i have a story to tell people um but then this one oh <laughs> i don't know if y'all can even feel the energy on this but this one signifies um literally creating what it means to even be me and from this point forward and using everything that i've learned to continue to create my life really what it means to be me so yeah i also wanted to incorporate angel numbers and um but like i said it was becoming so mainstream that i was just like i don't want to have like a basic like three three or a five five, five or whatever so i spelled it out with um with angel numbers and letters creating me um and yeah why am i gonna cry? and i wanted it smaller than this like way smaller than this but he kept bringing it up to be like bigger and like it was way bigger than this too so um yeah he kept bringing it up to be bigger and i was like kind of hesitant but then at, at, after the second time he re um sketched it out um i was like i got the download that literally said it has to be bigger because that's the meaning of my life like my life isn't just like a small tattoo like my life is like it's changing so much not only for myself and like for my family line for like the people around me but it's literally changing other people through the things that i post through what i say by sharing my own experiences and literally putting myself out there and like my life out there so that other people can literally feel, have someone to relate to and not feel as alone within their own journey or like you know as as if they're like literally going crazy because you know it feels like that sometimes and yeah it'd be like that sometimes but yeah i got that one and then i got the word gentle like i said and gentle that one is way more personal yeah that's basically just healing me healing my yoni me healing that part of me what has what's been going on since then and the ways that that affected me basically what that means for that um it goes on a way more personal level but i just don't and won't on here um but yeah and then i got these hands with the butterflies on here i hope y'all can see 
because again that just goes within like the divine feminine i got it because i just it feels right for the flow of divine feminine and you know um being in tune with yourself though like the way the hands like are graced against each other it literally reminds me of the name grace and that's my favorite name ever if i ever have kids i want to name one of my kids grace because i just love that name um and yeah it reminds me of that so i got that and i'm so excited uh anyways yeah now i'm gonna go get something to eat um because i'm starving marvin still don't know who marvin is and i'm so happy he had these bandages because these you leave them on for three days he said and, and you don't have to worry about like when you shower like you can shower it's fine so i i'm so happy he had these anymore it's not just my two tattoo now i have four tattoos Dang! but anyways yeah pain level i would say it was like a five honestly so yeah a five maybe a six but not even a six it was only a six like on some areas but the hardest one was the uh the one on my stomach because of like i was trying to breathe but then i was like didn't want to like breathe and expand my stomach and he'll be like and like he's tattooing you know what i mean so anyways yeah i also only got charged 450 but i gave i, I tipped him and all that Or whatever. New video coming out. Y'all guessed it. Tell me why they don't have the fajitas anymore. But they have tofu, which I didn't know. I don't know. But I'm starving. So I'm going to go to a random parking lot now and eat just because that's a whole vibe. I'm going to read, I think. And yeah, I low-key have to pee, but that's okay. Anyways, yeah. Um, I think I'm gonna end off this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm so excited, so buzzed that I was able to go in today because I've been wanting to forever. And earlier today, I realized that I actually wrote down that I got three tattoos um, this month. And to my surprise, I literally forgot about it. And then here I am. I'm so excited. Um, anyways, yeah, love a like good manifestation energy as we should, as I should, period. Um, anyways, yeah, I love you guys and I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope um, this inspires you to do something that you've been wanting to do, whatever that may be. Um, and yeah, I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next one. Mwah.